Good morning, everybody. I'm Katie here at Discovery Park of America, and we have some exciting news. We, we are with some of the guys who have been helping us all week put together the astronaut exhibit that opens to the public this Friday, January 17th, and we also have a special members only event on Thursday, but we'll get to that in just a second. So I just want to introduce you to some of the guys that have been involved. This is Jeremiah, and this is Tyrone. And they're going to give us a little bit of information on the exhibit itself because, y'all, this is super, super cool. If you love space, if you love astronauts, really, if you just love Discovery Park and like our temporary exhibits, you're going to absolutely be blown out of this world. So, uh, Jeremiah, tell us a little bit about the exhibit itself. What can people experience in here? Well, uh, you experience being out of space, what it's like to be an astronaut. Uh, this. Uh, Astronauts exhibit has been around for going on six years now. Uh, we've traveled it all over the U.S., uh, into Canada, and we're going to take it further than that. Uh, it's out of Perth, Australia. The company that built it is uh, SciTech out of Perth, Australia. And uh, not only do they uh, own it, but they also help us maintain it. Uh, we are contractors for a company called Imagine Exhibitions. And uh, what we do is we uh, help them move the exhibition to wherever the next show may be. Um, so we, we, we just keep moving forward. Excellent, you know? yeah. excellent. And he's gonna give us a little bit more details when we give you a sneak peek inside. But sure. I wanted to ask Tyrone, what is your favorite part of this exhibit? My favorite part of this exhibit would have to be the rocket. It's a great simulation of taking off, going into space. I think the kids will really enjoy it. And so you, do you climb up here? Can you give us a demonstration, no Tyrone? No problem. <laughs> <laughs> and this is right outside the exib exhibition, so you can come in here. It's a rocket or a rocket launch, and kind of tell us a little space. bit about it. So uh, you go ahead to start the simulation. Hit the button. We get a nice countdown. We get to take off. It's gonna be a countdown. And it's gonna blast off. But definitely, definitely, you're going to want to check that out when you come and visit Discovery Park and check out the astronaut exhibit. So we're going to go inside just a little bit, and I want Jeremiah to tell us about the International Space Station because that's one of my personal favorites. So let's come on in. As you can see, you've got a little sneak peek, and right through here is a replica of the International Space Station, which is in space, y'all. A little bit about this piece, since it's one of your favorites as well. It is the uh, International Space Station replica. Uh, we had fun with it. We, uh, in our graphics, uh, to show, it makes you feel like you're actually in the middle of it. You feel like you're in that. A little Easter egg for you, we hide little rubber chickens. So good luck oh, finding the chickens. This will be fun. <laughs> Absolutely. Interactive. There's different stations. There's 26 different interactive stations in this exhibit. So it's really, really neat, educational, STEM focused. And again, I'm just super, super excited. So um, Jennifer, will you tell us a little bit about our members only event that's happening tomorrow night, Thursday, January 16th? Yeah, so tomorrow night from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. Like Katie said, it's open for members only. Um, it just gives them our members an opportunity to see the exhibit uh, before anyone else can. And we do have two special guests that night. So first we have Dr. Lawrence DeLucas. He's actually an astronaut, a former astronaut who flew aboard the space shuttle Columbia. And uh, about 6 p.m. there's going to be a short program with him. He's just going to kind of talk about his experiences. Our members will be able to ask him questions. Um, and then the other uh, guest we have will be Jason Kelly. And Jason currently works for NASA um, as a payload specialist, and he's actually originally from South Fulton, so he's kind of local for us, so that's, that'll be exciting. Um, and then later in the night, you'll get an opportunity to uh, get autographs from, from either one of them, or both of them. So that's, that's something I'm really excited to get. Um, but yeah, it's, it's members only. If you're not a member yet, you still have time to sign up to be one, so you can come that night. We're going to have someone um, here that 
night, so you can come and sign up to be a member just the night of the event if you wish. Exactly, and it's going to be such such a fun evening. Again, members only. It's January 16th, and it's free for members to come and experience this for about two hours. And then it'll be an additional $6.95 if you come when the exhibit is open to the public January 17th through May 3rd, and we're just really excited. And Jennifer, I meant to ask you, what is your favorite part of this whole exhibit? I think one thing that really makes this exhibit really fantastic, um, you know, it's all about the life of the astronaut and what they experience in space. And But what's really neat, all throughout everything, there are monitors, um, projectors, interactives that show actual astronauts living in microgravity, which just means there's very little gravity. Um, so not only do you get to learn and hear about what's happening, they're actually showing you. So I think that just really makes it neat to be able to see what they're actually talking about. Right. And so again, Astronaut opens tomorrow, or, or excuse me, tomorrow for members, and it'll be open to the public January 17th through May 3rd, 2020. So thank you guys for tuning in. Thanks to these guys from Imagine Exhibitions and SciTech for coming out and uh, setting this up for us. And you're going to have a great, great experience here at Discovery Park of America. Thank you so much.